Hey everyone, Colin Ward Music here. Today we're going to work on the song Yamar by Fish. It's a very simple song, only four chords throughout the whole song. Today we're going to focus on um, showing you not just the chords, but also how to play that exact rhythm that Trey plays. So without further ado, here we go. This is the Clifford Ball version. So we got an A, an F sharp minor 7. We got a B major over D sharp, and then an E over G sharp. So here's our A, it's that C caged shape, 12, 11, 9, 10, 9. I'll stop the track while we're working on the chords first. So we got 12, 11, 9, 10, 9. 12, 11, 9, 10, 9, starting on the fifth string. It's for your root position A chord. Then we got an F sharp minor. And it might be an F sharp minor 7. For a little more tension. And that goes 9, 11, 9, 10, 9, starting on the fifth string. It's a more basic uh, minor 7 shape. Then we've got a B major chord, but it's in first inversion with the D sharp and the bass. So this is going to go 11 with the middle finger on the sixth string, 11th fret. We're going to skip the fifth string altogether, play ninth fret, first finger, fourth string, third finger, third string, 11th fret, right? That's our perfect fifth. And then we want our root up top again. And that would be on the 12th fret of the second string and no playing of the high E string. So, so far we've got A major, F sharp minor seven, B over D sharp. And then we've got an E major, but it's in first inversion as well. So we want that. G sharp in the bass, E over G sharp is the chord, and that's going to go 11, and then a bar with 999. Nine. And he does a hammer on from the 2, from the F sharp there. Okay, let's play along a little bit so you can see those chords in action. the rhythm on this song we need to be able to play all 16th notes on every chord now we're just gonna play on beats 1 and 2 beats E and A uh and E on the first chord 1 E and A uh, 2 E and then on the second chord we're gonna play on beats E and A uh of 3 and we'll and we'll ring out the second note a little bit longer. So again, on the first chord, one E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a, one E and a, two E and a. A little bit of a, a pickup in there with that. Starting to sound a little bit more like it. Let's check with Trey's actual rhythm here. So he variates a little bit, which makes sense because he's also singing. He wants to focus on um, delivering a good performance vocally with the harmonies. Um, but you'll hear him variate it from the downbeat there. But the main the main thing is to be able to play one E and a two E and E and a one E and a two E and a for E a. And those are all with your up strum, down, up, 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 down, up, 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 down, up, 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 Every single one should be on that upbeat. So let's play a little bit more with the track.
change position maybe. a little bit. Well, this is the uh, beautiful Clifford Ball version, my hometown basically. Now let's skip ahead a little bit, see what happens when some solos. Alright now during Paige's solo here. Sparse, light, a little bit of come. Some octaves there for a second. Really, really being attentive to Paige during his solo in. Gordo cues him back into the verse. Chorus, excuse me. Alright, now let's check out a little bit of Trey's soloing. Major right away. A little bluesy. Be boppy. is really important. Getting nice and light here. A little bluesy, a little major blues happening. A little classical, Ionian. A little descending thirds. I love that rhythmic stuff. It's just a lot of A Ionian. A little blues. But not ma not minor blues, major blues. A little bit of overdrive, a little more gain. A little major pentatonic. slide in there. Love the green drum set from Fishman. Alright, arpeggiation. Beautiful. Uh, same note. Ooh, on the F sharp. drum solo. All right. Rectifier maybe? I don't, I don't know what Gordo says there. More soloing. I love it when it players do that with it. And then just a big A major right there to end it.
Anyway, I hope there was some helpful stuff in there. Remember, the big parts about this are that 16th upbeat rhythm. And when you're soloing playing, A Ionian, A major pentatonic, a little bit of A major blues in there. Um, and a cool trick that, that we lifted from there is to play the same note on the opposite string and kind of manipulate it rhythmically. So an F sharp here, that's the fifth. Or sorry, I guess that's the sixth of our A. Um, I'm thinking in B for some reason. Um, so of our A, we have an F sharp. He plays it here, and then he plays it here. So that's a cool little trick that Trey likes to do once in a while. Play the same note on the exact same pitch, even on a different string, and manipulate it uh, rhythmically. Anyway, hope that helps. I am available for guitar lessons via Zoom. If anybody needs any, um, take care. Thanks.